Flavors of Chicago is a podcast that explores Chicago one neighborhood at a time, expanding people's palates and perceptions of the city. Co-hosts Dario Durham and Sarah Fada join us now with all the details. Thanks so much for being here, you guys. Oh, nice yeah. I mean, this so is fun. a dream of mine to go through every Chicago neighborhood and eat. I'm assuming you're eating what it's known for, right? Yes. Okay, so yeah. tell me where you started and why you started. So we started in Lakeview. Um, that, that's where we live. But we started because um, what we found, we wanted to do something we both love. You know, we wanted, I love Chicago, born and raised here in the city. She's uh, a cook, a very good Ooh, cook. And okay. we wanted to just combine the two things that we like, as well as kind of expand people's idea of Chicago and, and let them know how great this city really is. And yeah. you're a comedian too, as I well. Am, yeah. So you can give uh -huh. some people a little fun along yeah, the way. Yeah, you know, a lot of fun. You bring a lot of levity <laughs> to the city. Because let's face it, the city right now is getting such a bad rap. Yeah. Really, mm -hmm. it really is. And that's what we want to kind of, we want to tell the history, you know, Pretty or pretty or not, but make it fun, you know. Instead of doing the, the old school way of, it's got to be boy sounds boring. We add some fun to it. That's okay. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. So, chef, I'm gonna put you on the spot. Awesome. What has been your favorite or most unique thing you've tried so far? Honestly, uh, I would say the mustard leaf off the f the straight from the ground at Urban Growers Collective, which is <laughs> a farm in South Shore. Mm. Really? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Mustard well, leaf. It, it, like, yeah. he, he also tried it. Yeah, I don't know why, but I did. Yeah. <laughs> Spicy? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, you didn't like it? I liked it, oh, but okay. I would normally don't pick food up off the ground and eat it. But <laughs> oh, you literally <laughs> picked yeah, it up yeah, and, 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 and it wasn't cooked or anything? No, no, no. Oh. no, no. Just, but if I, if I were to pick a restaurant, it would probably be Taqueria Mi Barrio in Chicago Lawn. Okay. The best tacos. Okay. Ooh. And you learned something. It's funny that you mentioned Chicago Lawn, because you learned along the way that mm -hmm. Chicago Lawn was Anna. Next, yes, into the city. Yes, it was. It was its own town also. Okay. Before it was, it uh, became a city. Okay. Part okay. of the city. Yeah. Part of the city. Yeah. Okay. I so love the history. Yeah. Have, you, have you gotten to a neighborhood where you're struggling to find anything, or are you struggling to find which one you should go to? Yeah. One thousand percent. I think once we started hitting south and west uh, neighborhoods, we found that they don't get as much coverage, and yeah. that's why we enjoy what we do, because we get to do that. We get to, it's not for lack of options, it's for the fact that not a lot of people are venturing out that way yeah. to find good eats, and there's so many options. Yeah. What's the response been to your podcast? Yeah, very well, very good. A lot of people love it. A lot of people love the pride that they have in their neighborhood. Okay. They always want to recommend things to us. Mm -hmm. um, we got some loyal listeners. Uh, today's podcast, I gave the wrong, I usually give a, 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 a shout out to them, and I gave the buzzer a wrong buzzer for <laughs> one of our most loyal <laughs> listeners. Uh, so, but uh, we it, we have a lot of fun. They, they know who we are um, as people, and, and they kind of relate to like friends that they can kind of listen to every Monday. Okay. How many neighborhoods have you guys made it through? 33 dropped today. 33 so, dropped yeah. today. And then when you hit 77, are you going to go back through and do oh, yeah, yeah. plan B, yeah. the next re phase? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We, we So we have a countdown timer on our uh, website of November 28th or 29th, whatever that Monday is, will be uh, number 77. Okay. But we plan to go around and continue talking about the neighborhoods and the communities and people yeah. that we love. All right. So how much weight have you gained since you started this <laughs> podcast? Uh, 15 pounds. Oh, Thank you very much. Yeah. 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 Look, I'm not telling. I'm sucking my stomach in right now. <laughs> Well, that is good because that means that you're getting some yes. good food out yeah, there. Absolutely. Yeah. Is this something that came as a rec like the places you go? Are these recommendations? Are these mm -hmm. places you've seen? These are your favorites. How do you get those? Yeah. So a lot of people send in their favorite neighborhoods, you know, little secret places and we, we go to a lot of those. We do a lot of research, too, to try and find places that maybe don't get a lot of attention or like a little hole in the wall that oh, just yeah. has something yeah. unique. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. What about desserts? Are you guys doing, are you doing specifically full meals or so making So we, we want to give the, the full experience as often as we can. Okay. Um, we, we do have a segment of snacks. I'm not a big snack person. Okay. You know, she loves snacks and everything like that. He said he eats for sustenance. Oh. I, who, who does that? that? Who does that? <laughs> Look, I got to wake up in the morning and I got to get through that day. <laughs> That's true, but you should at least enjoy what you're putting in your body. I do. That's why I like hamburgers. Uh -huh. stuff like that. <laughs> I don't tell that cheeto burger. Cheeto burger yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you know? You guys, oh, that is so crazy. Is there something out there that you were a little worried to try that really has piqued your interest other than the food you ate off the ground? <laughs> uh, vegan food. I mm. think this is probably the thing that for me personally, because I used to trash vegan food, but we went to uh, Majani's in South Shore, and it changed my thought process a lot, actually, yeah. not even a little bit. Um, there's some things I just don't like still, yeah. but I do respect 
the taste and, and what it does. And I think for me, that was a nice eye opener when it comes to food. Yeah. All right, so are you letting people know that you're coming or are you kind of doing like a blind mm -hmm. kind of? Oh, no, we, we just show we pull up. up. We just oh, show yeah, up. Yeah, just, yeah. Have, have they started recognizing you yet? Now, yes. Okay. Yeah, okay. They do recognize now. And we didn't we didn't want the uh, the kind of attention to get anything free because we want to pay for everything. Yes, you know, we wanted to support small businesses. Mm -hmm. sure. So we don't want we don't want that kind of fanfare, right. but um, people do recognize us now. So. That is so funny. <laughs> God, All the information on the podcast right there on your screen. Guys, thanks so much for being here. Thank, thank you, Sarah. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you.